to the first official KOB Leadership Lounge. I am Christopher DJ Venom Turner, the leader of Kingdom of Lingdom, and we'll be discussing our business and ways to achieve our goals as team here in KOB. I'd also like to welcome some of the guests from our Upline Elite Group, Elite Blingers, and we're all uh, share and learn from one another, so it's only right that I share with my brothers and sisters. This session is going to help us grow and advance as we do them. So for right now, it's open discussion, and I'm ready to dig in. How are you guys doing today? Good, you? Good, good, good. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Just, um, you know, recovering from the weekend. Um, I haven't slept yet, but, uh, you know, as they say, entrepreneurs don't sleep. They nap. So I have a nap coming up shortly. <laughs> uh, so we have Christina, we have Crystal, Kimberly, Lydia, June, Nisi, and Michelle with us so far. We'll probably get a couple more coming in and out. Um, let's see. Um, Nisi, it's been a minute since you've been in. How are you doing? I'm doing somewhat okay. Um, going to here and there. My mind's kind of been everywhere. Yeah, doesn't that always happen? Especially Can when we, I'm trying to catch up with school. 
Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. How's your um how's your business going right now? Are you um waiting on packages? Have you been getting any of your packages in? When did you last go live? Um I ended up getting another like really bad six bell um right around the time that I wanted to go live last. But I am waiting for a package to come in. I got my March package in like right around mid April, I wanna say. So shipping time is definitely backed up still, so I'm not hold my breath as to when this one's going to come in since I did order right at the end of the month. Um, gotcha. The goal is to, like, obviously definitely go live the day I get the the new package. I'm probably going to have going live and or, le- or posting a bunch of stuff on my group page. Or not group page, but a business page about some things I have available still. Because I now have everything in an organized system in my computer so that I know where Good. everything is and I know what I'm getting. Definitely. So since you've done that and you're all prepared, what are your month of May goals? What do you hope to achieve in the month of May? My goals for May is to definitely get active, obviously, but I also want to see if I can try out some new, some different things that I see that um, some of the other teammates end up doing, like what Kim does with the wheel and see about trying some different things, see if it'll gain more traction, since I generally only have maybe one or two people that join my lives. Oh, good, good. So remember, though, the key element to all of this is going to be working that Facebook page and being that social butterfly. You know, go out there and comment on people's stuff and, and, and share and post and tag and all of those finer things so that that way your Facebook is busy. Um, Definitely. Like we always say, if your Facebook if your Facebook wall isn't changing every day and you're seeing all the same people, then you're just not doing enough networking. Right. I definitely got to get back into the swing of, or like more into posting stuff because I'm so used to how I normally do my Facebook stuff, which is I post maybe once a day, like maybe on my regular page, on my like personal page. Yeah, and if you really want to increase those sales, you definitely want to increase those posts, too. Definitely. You know, we spend a lot of time scrolling up and down on Facebook. Make sure you stop and slow your scroll once in a while and and throw a comment out there or, uh, you know, uh, make a post. Good deal, Nisi. I'm going to move over to Tiffany real quick because she just joined in. I want to say hello to her. And this is her first time coming in. So how are you, Tiffany? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. Doing great. Glad to have you in here with us. Um, We meet on a regular basis, usually once daily. And um, I'm glad to see you coming in and hanging out with us. Yeah, definitely. So why don't you introduce yourself to the gang here? My name is Tiffany Shelton. Um, I've been with Paparazzi for two years. And I'm still a star consultant, and um, but not quitting. <laughs> Keep pushing on. Um, I'm just trying to continuously build that customer base. Um, and I'm currently working on Shopify. Are you still speaking? I heard Shopify last. Oh, maybe she got a phone call. It does look like she muted. Yeah, she might have got a phone call. Okay, so we'll go ahead and come back to her when she comes back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say hi to Christina. Hello, Miss Christina. Hello. How are you doing? Um, I love the the Golden Gate Bridge there. (laughs) Thanks. I'm only 45 minutes away from it, so it's a beautiful sight to me. I get to, I love driving across it. Oh, nice. I would love to see it in person. I never have, so that would be sad. So what's going on with you? Um, It's been a minute for you as well. You want to go ahead and just give a, just a real quick touch of who you are? Um, I have, um, I'm Christina Hinojosa. I've been in, I don't know, since about late January, I think. Um, I have one, one teammate, 
un, um, I forget what y'all call it, a, what we call it, a sponsor. I have one personal sponsor. Um, no, you are their personal sponsor. You have one downline. Their personal. Yeah, there you go. See, I'm still familiarizing myself with all the jargon. Um, yes, yes. Uh, paparazzi. Um, but um, yeah, so uh, today my goal is to uh, get my organ my inventory organized and um, have a better look at what I'm doing. I've noticed when I've been doing my sets that like um, I'll see something the next day or whatever. And I'm like, ah, that would have looked good with that. But I forgot I had it. So like, I feel like being more structured is going to help me. And then also help me have, I had been working on building my inventory for a big event that I had at the end of April um, that actually has now been moved to the end of May. So um, I also, in preparation for that, I feel like I need to know what I have to see what I might need more of, if anything. Um, oh, okay. So that kind of correlates with where I wanted to go. I wanted to find out what your May goals were and what you had planned. So. Is there anything outside of that that you want are trying to achieve for the month of May? Um, I want to just build my customer base. I think I've uh, done a good job of building friends and I'm working on and still progressing in slowing my scroll, as you called it, which I love that. I feel like that's going to be a great hashtag. Slow the scroll, slow yep, your yep. scroll. Because I just scroll, but I'm like, I'm not normally as engaging. I might like things here or there. But to actually comment on stuff, like, yeah, definitely working on slowing my scroll. Very good. Very good. Yeah, making sure that you comment and, uh, and you know, use those algorithms, get people interacting with you. Um, you know, the more people that interact with you are going to be more people that you're going to see joining your lives. So um, that's real important when you start seeing the same people over and over and over again. Make sure that you focus on those people that you don't see very often and that you respond to those people so that they'll continue to come back. Um, I get a lot of people that are like, well, but Chris, how do I go back and answer all of these people that are commenting on my thing? Like it's the same people. Well, then you don't necessarily need to answer every one of them, but you need to make sure you're definitely answering those ones that are new to you. Good deal. So do you feel, um, is there anything that you feel like you're struggling with that, that we can help you out with right now? Or do you feel like you got a good plan on it? You're just uh, working your time out. Um, I guess I'm open to, I think one thing I'm open to and need help with a little bit is like, how does everybody inventory their stuff? Like I can show you, let me turn my little camera, my background off. And I think I can. I'm not hearing you anymore, hun. Yeah, sound went out on your end. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I can't figure out how to... Uh... Oh, there you are, you're back. <laughs> okay, sorry. Oh, I did you not hear me? I'm sorry. Um, yeah, you said my... you were going to take the background down and you were to show us, like, your inventory. Yes, yes and I'm attempting to figure that out there it goes oh i think okay. that's where you accidentally muted it <laughs> okay yes okay so this is what i got going on i don't know if you can see that it's a triangle can you see that here let okay. me flip. it's it's like a triangle stand hold on let me try to flip my there it goes can you see it's it's very tall so that's why yeah. i like it but everything, like, I mean, it's just thrown on there. There's no rhyme or reason. I kind of have earrings over here and some longs here, some shorties there, longs there, but not, there are interminglings going on. <clears throat> and then you can kind of see all the way down. It's, it's pretty, I think it's, I think when I got it, it's like six to seven feet tall, something like that. Right. So, um, yeah, any ideas for that would be great. Uh, well, that's on my cool. end, I can tell you right now that as from the day we started to even now, it's constantly changing. We're we're constantly revising this and revising that and moving things here and moving things there. 
So I do, it'd be really tough for me to tell you how to organize it, which with for yourself. But if anybody else has some some suggestions, feel free. Kimberly's like, nope, I'm not touching that one. <laughs> yeah, that that's that's why it. Like I said, it is rather difficult to to try to organize for somebody else because. You know, you just may not, you may do things completely different, you know, and it's different. Like, for instance, um, some people have a, like, say, maybe a certain rack or a wall that they'll work off of while they're live. And others, they'll pick and choose and they'll move around and, you know, bounce all over the place and get different pieces. And some will work, put a box down on the floor and open up the box and just go at it, you know. So it's really, really up to you, and there is no one method to it. And honestly, I don't even think that – I bet there's nobody that really does it the same. So does that help you out there at all besides not much help at all? <laughs> not really. Not really, but that's okay. I, I kind of figured, you know, I'm like, okay, I got to, like, organize – I'll find I, I'm guessing I'll figure it out as I go um, yeah well we went, first, through stages, a... we went through stages where <laughs> we've um we're like color coding the pieces you know well like and then we went through stages where we were like choosing them by what type they were like all the urban bracelets and all the pull strings mm -hmm. went together and then all the wraps went together and all of the the, <laughs> um, the bangles went together you know and and it just, honestly, it just kind of, it has to go with what works for you. Because you know as well as I do that packaging is always different too. Sometimes there's like the, the necklaces or the bracelets are all stacked together real nice. And then there's one that's just clunky and in the way. Speaking of packaging though, Chris, like, okay, tell me this is not just me. Let me find one. I've uh, been getting uh, my paparazzi boxes in worse and worse shape. This is just one of them. Luckily, none of the jewelry was damaged. I do not think it is a paparazzi issue. I really feel FedEx is just dropping the ball. Um, but yeah, it's gotten like really bad lately. Like this is one of them. I think the other one's over there. Like where are yeah. you at? I'm in Texas, South Texas, by South Padre Island. Okay. Um, well, and I mean the truth of the matter is too is all yeah, like you said, it could it's definitely FedEx. And that box has probably went through one one or more transfer sections. And I've worked through those uh, transfer stations before. And they they work off of those, like, rolling um, pulley systems, you know. And they just throw the, the boxes down this feed. And then somebody's stacking them and, and, or even just tossing them down the line. And then boxes like that, because of their paparazzi size, they sometimes get caught up in the wheels. Like I know for a fact that that's happening. They get oh, caught yeah. up in the wheels of the roller and then sometimes get crushed or squished or another box comes and pushes them and then crushes them against another. So they're just that right size. Um, I yeah. used the all the shampoo boxes that used to come off of the trucks. Mm -hmm. They used to be the same like size and you don't know how many times there'd be one shampoo bottle busted out of a box of six. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like every, it always seemed like they would just catch that one spot. Yeah. And, and like that particular box, box didn't have any jewelry damage, but I have noticed that some have come through. Now, luckily that I've only run across so far, knock on wood, thank you, Jesus one pair of earrings that there was no fixing it. Like the post was completely off of the earring. Everything else I've been able to fix myself. But <laughs> That's awesome. And paparazzi is really good at, re at <laughs> you know, their, their return and claim policy. <clears throat> but other than that, so just, you know, just feeling out if anybody else had had that issue, but it might just be, I'm just so far south and, <laughs> honestly my first box for my starter kit when that came in it was not even sealed anymore like I just could pop it open well well at least it came in uh undamaged yeah I'm nothing soft. Did. it was just to the point that it would just pop open 
I'm well, that's shocked. better than that's better than ordering a DoorDash one time and having to come home, and then when you finally get it from the DoorDash person, like half of the fries are uh, missing, and like you could tell that the food has been messed with. Like, yeah, that was not. I'd rather uh, I'd rather have them mess with my jewelry than my food. <laughs> true, true. It's, it's not a. Tiffany, are you back yet, hun? Is uh, part of the last box I got was a little dented, but that's about it. I don't think yeah. I honestly had any problems with my boxes, and I'm like all the way across the other side. I remember the first time we got a brown box, we were like, oh my gosh, is this like a fraud? Like, what happened here? Why isn't this box pink? I think I get more brown boxes, personally. I think I've only had, like, two, maybe three boxes out of all the boxes I've gotten. Right. <laughs> They're cheating us out of the pink color. <laughs> I think we at a time where they were giving out more brown boxes. <laughs> Hey, I guarantee you those brown boxes are a lot cheaper. That's than like the last black box ones. I've gotten. It's like dented right here. I don't know how well you can see that. Yeah. <laughs> well, luckily that's nothing. But yeah, those brown boxes are much cheaper than those black and pink ones. Okay, guys. So let's get back to um. Let's see, Tiffany, are you back yet? Doesn't sound like it. I'm here. Oh, there Can she you hear is. Me? Okay. Yeah, I yeah. We talking, lost you there um, when we were talking earlier. Yeah, I was talking a few minutes ago, but I don't think you guys can hear me. Maybe I didn't unmute it very well. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but we were. Um, I had asked you what your goals were for the month of May. <laughs> yes, my goals are. Um, I've started Shopify a couple of months ago, and I haven't got all my inventory in there and trying to get that all in there. Um, to stick to a schedule is my main goal. Um, I, I get very scatterbrained and distracted. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else can relate to that, but um, oh, I think I'm that's sure. where I really fall short is not sticking to my schedules and my lives and letting life, you know, kind of take over, you know, everything instead of putting my business like a set set in stone schedule so if you guys have any tips on sticking to that or i don't know anything any kind of input that would be awesome right right um welcome deborah and angie um as i want to let you guys know all of you guys know that just recently um i downloaded calendly it's like calendar, but Calendly, L-Y. And it's a um, calendar program or app that you can use. And you can connect it to like your Google. And you can connect it to your Zoom. Um, you can connect it to all sorts of different things. But you can set your schedule up with it. And you can even let other people set their schedule with you through that Calendly app. I've been using it just most recently, and it's um, it's been it's been pretty effective. I'm gonna have to try that. Be really, really cool. I don't know if you guys are getting like um, static, but I am. I don't know if it's just my. Yeah, I'm here. It's the static. I I don't know where it's coming from. It looks like it's coming actually from Michelle's. And oh, yeah, yeah, it was Michelle's. Okay. I just muted myself again. Yeah, you're good. Thank you, hun. So we may not get to get to everybody right away just because um, it looks like we've got, you know, some new people in here and we want to kind of kind of feel the, the air there and find out how everybody's doing. Um, I'm a little torn here right now, though, because I message to marissa to let her know that i was doing this nine o'clock live and we're in the zoom but she's live right now so i don't know if we should end this and go to her live and then try to come back or i'm personally thinking maybe we should just continue this and then go watch the replay but it, it looks like she's live from her car i just got on on my computer so i don't know if it's like a you know, like a, I don't want to say like a training train, like a real training, but you know what I mean? Like, maybe it's just a touch base, a Monday morning yeah. kind of motivation thing. 
That's kind of okay. What it's well, I'm like. gonna continue here. If anybody feels that they need to step out and go check it out, go ahead. And you know, you're always welcome to come back in. Hello, Joanna. Can you hear us? Yes. Hello, welcome. How are you? I'm doing good. Good deal. Good deal. Glad to have you coming in here and joining with us. Um, so we're doing this every day. Um, go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody and let them know who you are. My name is Joanna. I'm, um, I, my, my paparazzi is Jojo's Bling. Um, I, I'm beginning to build myself back up after doing, dealing with some things, but uh, I know that eventually I'll get there um, back to where I was and um, I'm not giving up yet. I haven't given up and um, paparazzi has, has been a real big thing for me and I stay to um, continue going forward, not looking back. Good deal, good deal. So I'm going to let everybody know just ahead of time here. Um, so Joanna is KOB member, but um, she's been away for the last couple of months dealing with some medical issues. Um, when I came onto the scene, uh, you know, and started working with people on our team because, um, you know, I hadn't been for the first part of our business, when I uh, met in with Joanna, I'd reached out to her and um, her upline and her uh, had a difference of opinion and they weren't really working well together. So Joanna was working her business um, primarily on her own, but I worked with her to try to get her some goals and, and get her get her motivated and get her moving. And I want to tell you that she was consistently active for several months, which she was never, ever active before that. Right, Joanna? Yes. Right. So um, she was, and, and you guys all know that like, that's the one thing that I ask for everybody is just to be active. I don't necessarily care. Um, you know, if you're hitting any, if you're, as long as you're hitting your, the goal of being active, then if you don't have any other business goals, as far as this business is concerned, then, you know, you could totally just ride the roller coaster if you want to. Um, I have no concerns with that. My main goal is getting everybody active. And so now that you're back on board, um, hopefully you'll be getting active as well here. And um, do does it look like that's, uh, that's what's going to happen here soon? Or are you already active? Um, I'm going to get active today. Good deal. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. So what's your goals for the month of May? Uh build up my inventory and um, find uh, well come up with different ways um, to um, put it out there um, being okay. that uh, it's hard for me to go live um, uh, on Facebook uh, due to my grandparents being here. I got you. Okay. Okay. Well, good. And we'll, we'll be able to at least um, give you some, some tips and tricks and help you out with that. Um, come into these on a regular basis. I've got a schedule up. Um, so, you know, we're going to be doing these every day, Monday through Saturday. Uh, Sunday will be our only day off. So you're more than welcome to join into them at any time. And, um, at, you know, at any time here, these, I mean, these are just open discussions where we're going to talk as freely but if anybody ever has anything to say you just you know raise the hand and i'll make sure that um, i'm scrolling from pages and pages to see uh that everybody's comfortable and you know if anybody needs to speak or say anything uh it'll let me know so um, feel free to come in here more and more often and i'm anxious to have you work in your your business again um before i let you go real quick i wanted to ask you when is your next scheduled live when do you plan on going live again Uh, I was going to try and do it in my room, <laughs> um, but being that's a tight space, um, I'm not sure. 
Okay, so can I suggest to you a messenger party or uh, making a messenger VIP group? And that way you don't necessarily have to go live, but you can invite all of your customers to, say, a messenger group. And then you can drop pictures in the messenger group. And if they want the picture, they can claim it in the group. Um, it okay. might make it a little bit easier for you to be able to work at, at will rather than to have to schedule lives, you know, for right now anyway. Anybody else have any tips for her if she can't go live? Go ahead, June. Oh, okay. I have your same um, problem. I have kids here from, well, two of them live with me. But anyway, till 8 o'clock at night. This week, I don't have anybody. So I'm going to try to go live and do things like that. But um, uh, what do you call it? Wall drops. Wall yeah. drops. And um, I spend more time on organizing. So I'm just going to try to dig out of boxes. Well, they're all organized as, as far as... Um, Longs and shorts and, you know, bracelets and earrings. I'm just going to do it. I just heard it a little bit ago. I'm going to grab a box, go live and say, here it is. Here's what I got. Because I need to sell to go active. So right. and with little time, I've got to uh, go see my grandson today who had five teeth. That was four. And then I've got my son-in-law tomorrow having heart surgery. So I'm a bit busy. But um, I just say... Keep thinking and don't give up. Way to go. Yep, yep, for sure. For sure. Good advice, too. Yeah, those wall drops they can definitely help you as well. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, go ahead. I'm going to do as much as I can because uh, I have another box coming in um, today. Uh, I got, like, two more boxes that I'm waiting on from last month um but um i'm gonna do as much as i can up until uh, friday um because um friday i don't know whether or not they're gonna put a patch on my eye um because i'm having eye surgery on friday boy it just doesn't stop for you does it you big party animal you I would also say maybe it's use not your gonna stop me from doing what I need to do. I'm sorry, what was that? I would say maybe try using your stories because you can make those interactive without them seeing you. You know, like the vote, the voting, mm -hmm. the polling, direct message me to claim. Um, and oh, it's, yeah. it is a different audience on the stories, Facebook stories. Like I noticed the people that comment on my stories or that I hear back from aren't the people that usually respond on my feed. You want to know something that I just found out this morning? So if you open up your phone by any chance and you look at your uh, messenger list, like all the people that are on your messenger list, you know, if somebody messages you, it usually le like leaves a little one or a two or a three with a little red, like little dot, you know, lets you know that you've got weighted messages there or unread messages. And then... Um, I also, you know, it has a little green dot if the person's active and they're, you know, on their phone or whatever. But did you know that there's also a blue circle around the profile picture? On some people's profile picture, but on some people's it don't. I was wondering, what's the difference with that blue circle? Well, if you hit the blue circle, that means that person has a story. So if you tap their picture or their profile, it'll instantly take you to their story. And what's cool about that is that then you can look at your messenger list since you're in your messenger all the time anyway, and you can continue to kind of manipulate who you want in your messenger list by going and checking out whose messenger stories you're looking at. Because that will bring them into your messenger list, especially if when you do go to their their story, if you, um, you know, comment a message. Right, right. Good stuff. So I think it's really cool, though, that, um, you know, it, all of these little 
like where's the handbook though that tells you that you know what i'm saying like they just put something out there and they make it happen and then we got to figure it out for ourselves we need a facebook monkey to come tell us well i guess right now i'm your facebook monkey but whatever <laughs> <laughs> so let's see um and then we already so we did talk to tiffany a little bit june how's things going with you then not bad i'm in a good mood <laughs> that's good i got my hair done that's good um <laughs> yeah just a little bit of uh healthy stuff or healthy stuff health issues with the rest of the family i'm doing fine um but my goals for this month is, I told my husband, um, finding time, making time, I guess you'd say, um, going live to sell, but um, I am going to get active soon. I don't care if it kills me. <laughs> I'm going to go check out my pennies or something, but I need to well, go active. I mean, I mean it and, really shouldn't kill you, though, especially with that power of 15. You know, it, it's, it shouldn't be too hard to get those out there. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I, I sold uh, uh, a few like around here locally, so I'm doing okay. Good um, deal. I'm kind of getting a little discouraged. I wear when I do go out, which sometimes is for an hour or so. Um, they're more inter interested in my yellow coach purse than they are in my jewelry that I'm like slinging. You know, I mean, like I'm loaded with it. I've been putting on good clothes, <laughs> like not t-shirts. Oh, and right. I kind of get disappointed. I don't know if it's because this old lady walking the road or what, but I think they're more scared of me than than anything. You know, I'm, I'm kind of I people don't like to say anything sometimes because I don't have people who comment on my jewelry when I wear it either. Oh, yeah, but you're well, you beautiful. Know, I'm old. <laughs> But the, the, I mean, the the truth of the matter yeah. is, a lot of people are afraid to compliment people anymore. Yeah, you know. So a lot of times, people don't compliment them. But you know, I think women are probably the most complimentary people. You know, they usually compliment each other more than more than most. You know, if I go telling, oh wow, I like those earrings. The first thing is, oh yep, yep, you're trying to get my number. Here's a creeper. Trying to get my number. Yeah, Look at you trying to get in my DMs. The one thing I did notice, and it's not for me, but because I don't know these people, um, is you, I can go to Walmart and, you know, people walk around in their jam jams around here. You know, I live in the new hood. And anyway, um, a lot of them wear their jammies and their sweats and they've got paparazzi jewelry on. I'm like, oh, I want to get at you. <laughs> because I'm, you know, two out of two out of every 10, which is good for Walmart have jewelry on and you can i you know being here for a year or whatever i can tell you we're in part paparazzi but yet i still haven't got that far to i noticed but i haven't got that far to go ask them where they got it <laughs> or you hey, I, like your, I like your necklace um is you know paparazzi? all you have to do june all you have to do june is point out and say paparazzi just ask them <laughs> just, just seriously just point out and say paparazzi and if they say yes you'll be like oh see i knew it i sell that stuff and then if they say, oh, you do, uh, well, shoot, give me your card or, oh, I do too or whatever. I mean, at least then you know, right? Yeah, that's true. But my goal do this time is to go active. And I can't stay on much longer because my granddaughter just woke up wanting <laughs> to eat. Oh, no worries. No worries. Well, uh, that's a great goal. And, uh, you know, if I can help you get it, I'm definitely there. Okay. Well, we need to talk anyway. I need to. I need some uplift. <laughs> so okay. whenever... I don't have like the baby baby. So when you get a chance, message me. For sure. I'll do that. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye, Jim. So Bye, guys. Lydia, how are you on your goals? Well, my main goal at this point is to get active as soon as I can. Granted, I do have the little one on the way. So I'm not yep. sure what that will be. So uh, I did go live twice over the weekend. It was mainly around 6.30, 7.30 area. Good, um, good. How did, how did they turn out? The first one only got two views. The other one got 15. So I think around 7.30 is the 
better time for that. Like, I'm just doing random times to feel out where the best times to get everybody is. Okay. Well, that's good, though. I mean, you had did two lives, though, right? Now, how long were each of your lives? Almost half an hour each. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, it's definitely a good start. When are you going to go live again next? I'm hoping sometime tonight. Great. I'm loving that. I'm, I'm, you're exciting me now. You're getting me all juiced up because that's what I like to hear. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, we, we all have to, to deal with what we got to deal with, but uh, for you to, to make sure you're going out there and getting live, even if it's for a half an hour, even if it's for only two people, even if it's for 20 people going live is where the money's at. Right. So and I'm proud of you. To post in my group, you know, hey, I'm going to go live at this time or I'll be on in like five to 20 minutes. Personally, if you know that you're going to go live at a certain <laughs> time, I would post at least an hour to an hour and a half before you go live that you're about well, to go live. When I did the one at 6.30, I had posted a day ahead that I was going to go live on that day at 6.30. Uh, uh, okay. I had a, a day's notice. And then when I did the one at 7.30, I posted five minutes before I went live. Okay, so here's what I want you to, to, to do. Before you go live, about an hour to an hour and a half earlier, post that you're going to go live at what, whatever time, right? And then, and then ask a question in there. Like, say, I'm going to go live at 8 o'clock tonight, right? At 6.30, post a post or something that says, I'm going to go live at 8 o'clock tonight, and I'm trying to decide what to show. Are you feeling, are you interested in earrings or bracelets or... Are you interested in gold or silver or anything like that? But ask a question, you know, ask a question so that that way people will come back and answer to it. During the time that you're getting ready and putting your hair and getting your makeup and all that stuff and you're getting ready to go live, your algorithms can be working and you can just casually go back and answer any of those people that comment on it as you want to. Um, and number two, that's going to give you um, accountability now because you've already done said that you were going to go live. So it'll make it a lot easier for you to just go live rather than cancel. Right. A lot of us gets that stage fright or that. No, I just, I, it's maybe I'm not going to do as good as I hope to. And they talk themselves out of it before they ever go granted, live. So granted, I am mostly set up either on the floor or, on my bed but I'm at least pulling them out of the boxes taking them out of the bag for a minute and then putting them back when I'm done showing that piece right well however you need to do it that's fine um, yeah. but yeah I, I don't have a desk or a pegboard yet still so <laughs> yeah, I, I do have a bed, you know I also have a suggestion, if I may. Of course. Just ignore the the fussy he heathen over here because he's extra. Um, heathens will I, be heathens. Yeah, I tried to lay him down because he was asleep, and he was like, <laughs> like. Um, one thing I've noticed that helps me, like, especially in the beginning when I hadn't really had that schedule, and I was kind of doing what you're doing is like filling out the days and times. One thing I noticed that really helped that audience come in was working the algorithms. Like if I did a post, um, I mean, something as simple as yeah. like, what's what, what what's good to watch on Netflix? Because that, I'm telling you, everybody loves Netflix and they're crazy about Netflix. Like get on there like, oh, this show, this show, this show, this show. And they comment and then people will be replying because they're like, oh yeah, that's a good one or what have you. And then in, in like three hours, go live. And guess what? All those people that just commented on your post, they're going to see you go live. So okay. that, that, that should, I mean, ideally, right, help, help out a lot. You'll, you'll get more, more people. Like, uh, like I said, you could do Netflix. You could do like, oh, uh, I don't know if you like Starbucks. But like what, what's your favorite drink at Starbucks? Cause that's a, a popular place. 
what are you cooking tonight? I need ideas to help. Um, Another, just, anything yeah. that, honestly, anything that has um, something to do with somebody having to share their knowledge, people are smarter than anybody else. I just want you to know that. Okay, <laughs> so they love to share the fact that I'm smart. So if you can tell them, uh, you know, man, I've got, had a sore throat all day today, which even if you don't, you can just say, man, I've had a sore throat today. What do you do for a, a nasty cough? And everybody and their brother and their mother and their sister and their cousin and their aunt and their uncle and their nephew is going to answer because they all have a home remedy that's better than anybody else's. Well, yeah. Well, I know today, um, as of this morning, whenever I had stood up, like I had some slight pain down in my uh, lower area whenever I stood up. <laughs> I've so, never had that happen, so I don't know. Is this well, your first pregnancy? Are you? I'm. A, you said you have a child coming, so I'm assuming you're pregnant. Okay. Me yeah. or her? <laughs> Me or her? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that pain, that slight pressure, that tends to happen. <laughs> yeah, and it's only going to get worse. Just, just throwing that out there. It's only going to get worse. <laughs> Well, your I hips, am in my last. Your hips, your hips. But totally so, worth it. Totally worth it. But yeah. Well, I am in my last week. So, like. Until you hit this point. Yeah. Totally kidding. Totally kidding. It's still worth it. But Congratulations, by the way. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and yes, this is my first child. So then, let's see. Nisi, did I ask you what your your May um, goals were? Yes, you did. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Um, and I, now now I'm recalling, but it took me a second because I thought I, the screens keep changing order here. So I couldn't remember who I talked to and who I didn't talk to for a minute. And I know I already asked Christina, but now I'm curious uh, what Crystal and Kimberly have for their goals. So what do you guys want to take next? <laughs> I hear crickets. <laughs> I would like first. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, fine. Um, right now, I I, I get to ship today because you know, like we're supposed to have that kind of an attitude. <laughs> um, so I'm working <laughs> on that today. Uh, I was after day one, so kind of. I'm going to attempt like a lunch live so I can uh, get some more goodies today. Um, May goals, if you know, you know, and I feel like for this month, I feel like we're kind of starting over fresh. Um, I hit premier director. I double ranked in January. I hit premier director in January. Um, in April, even though I have a team of 15 girls I was just a director so working on that for sure um I feel like we're kind of starting fresh we've um some of the trash has taken itself out you know what I mean so we're gonna yeah. see how that helps the team vibe because I think that was a a big a big deal for the team as a whole I know several girls explained their uh concern over that but so my goal, I guess, is to be a better leader and, like, learn how to be a better leader and be the leader that they need me to be because everybody is different, and I'm still trying to figure out how to be what this person needs and then also be what this person needs at the same time, like, balancing out the different needs of people. Um, personal business goals, I think uh, I, I surpassed my goal with 500 pieces last month. So that was really exciting. I'm going to shoot for six. Awesome. Keep going. Yeah, it was pretty exciting for me. Um, I want to I wanna add three more personal sponsors, hit 600 pieces sold. Um, because I didn't do well in April, I would love to double my, my PV and, uh, you know, build that up as well. And also conquer Shopify because that's a whole thing in itself. And when you get a good system in, to like order 
and then once it's confirmed, put it in Shopify and I don't know. I have I have so much. I wish I would have done this way before, but because it's it's very well, it very. Well, sounds open. like there's quite a few of you guys that are working on Shopify at the same time. I wonder if maybe it would be a good idea for you guys all to get together. Maybe. Maybe you guys can all do it like a, a Zoom by yourselves, where you can all just kind of. Okay, wait. Did you notice this? And did you notice that? All right. So when I post this, when I add that, you know. But um, I think. I think there's like three or four that I know of that are working and building the Shopify right now. Yeah, it's it's been kind of um, it's been kind of tricky, just mainly because I have so much that I don't really know what I have anymore. Yeah. Honestly, but um, I have to run in my car so I'm gonna piss. Um, like with the show rebate and stuff like and then on top of that like it's hard for me to find the name of a piece that I've had for a while like as far as putting it in the in the, on the website like I just want to call it shiny copper necklace and I know that's obviously not right nor well, professional so can I just make a suggestion here Please. When you have pieces that are problem pieces like that, that you don't know what to put them in there as, don't mm -hmm. put them in a separate box and those are your live sales. Sell them only on your live. So you don't even have to worry about what they're called. You don't have to worry about what they're... Just make a box just for literally for live only. Or wall drops only. That. You know? Yeah. And, uh, and do it that way instead of entering in the Shopify. Don't waste your time on something that's going to take all that much time to track down that doesn't really matter. I didn't think about that. That's way less stressful than I was making it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, because sometimes we go and we'll search Google trying to find an image, you know, so that the once we find the image, then we can find the name and la 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 And that's all gravy if you can do it quickly. But if you can't find it quickly and you're spending six days scrolling through pages <laughs> looking for, you know, blue moonstone right. silver necklace, good luck. Right. I, I do have a suggestion because I personally have trouble remembering names of the items. Any of the new boxes I have, I outright um, have a little notebook that I keep with my with my paparazzi kit to uh, write down all the names of them into. All right. That's just my suggestion. And like, I, I don't know if that's helpful to you, but that personally is helpful oh, to yeah. me. I, I, I did that, honestly. Like I would, especially if I did like a, a pre-sale for that particular order, I would write it down, write the names down. But then guess what? I don't know what the dang thing looks like, but I know the name. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I, I don't know. I have a really bad memory anymore. I can tell you exactly what my grandmother's phone number was in 1998, but I don't. I can't tell you what I ordered yesterday. <laughs> no, I totally, I totally get it. And here's the thing, you know, like I said before, like, you know, those pieces that are going to be trouble pieces, they're so easy to push a different way. Oh, look, ma'am. Right. Thank you. Here's my business card. Have a good day. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I didn't think about that. That's true. You know, make those your free pieces. Make those your mystery bag pieces. Make those... Right. Yeah, like your just... surprise pieces or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that because it, it, that's really kind of what's been holding me back because I'm just like, I don't know where to start to find the names of stuff, but because a lot of that was the show rebate, so that's like 500 pieces and I'm just like, I don't even know, and some of them are blockbusters, so I mean, that's cool, those pieces are fine, but like the ones that I know aren't in the back office anymore, and I like, I don't, I, w I don't even know where to start, so it's kind of been like, holding me back from like really even working on it, because I'm just like, well, like, yep, I would, I I, if it were me, I would work on the bulk of what was the, the easiest to process first. Okay. Get those things in there and out of the way at, at rapidly, and then find out what's left, 
And then, like I said, you can separate it into, hey, until I go, until these pieces are gone, like, I'm showing them only on the live, you know, or whatever. But, yeah, definitely, you've got more than one way to sell them now. Um, there's more right. than one way to skin a cat, so. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's also more than one way to crack an egg. There you go. There really well, is. and now, so was that, that, um, that the end of your goals there? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's that's a uh, short story. I know I could keep going. What about forever. your rank? What what's your what's your rank that you're trying to achieve? Well, I mean, ideally, I would love to hit that executive. Um, I'm trying to encourage the girls to build their teams. Um, you know, I, they've all of them uh, joined in January. <laughs> For a few of them, the rest of them have been, you know, here and there scattered throughout. But the bulk of my team joined in January. So I feel like at this point, they, a lot of them, they, they have the confidence of, of the jewelry of the business, but they don't really have the confidence of being a leader yet. So I'm trying to kind of feel where they're at, where their head is and, and work with them on that. I mean, even if they, if they, don't, if they just want to build a team. So like I, I told them, you know, this week or the next two weeks, let's try to do, you know, an opportunity live because I know the first few of them are scary. They're, they're scary. <laughs> right. So, um, I'm trying to, you know, work on that, help them get over the fear of speaking the opportunity, which I know is easier said than done. I, I get it. Um, Cause I think once, once I can get the girls building teams, the ones that want to, it'll be a lot easier to hit these ranks as, as we grow that way as well. I mean, obviously me personally ha adding, adding teammates is my goal every month, uh, you know, three people every month. That's, that's my uh, goal every month. But if I could get them and one of them has two. So it's like, girl, you're right there to director. Like, come on, you know, like, come on, you're right there. Get that 5% raise, you know, and, but All right. those that you know have been a little problematic for us so she's kind of disheartened on that and I know you know who I'm talking about but I'm working on on her as well because she's disheartened over all that so yeah well, well and you know the the key here though is making sure that they're all getting active like they need to be and as long as they're getting active you know and you're you're continuing to work with them and and grow them um I think that this zoom meeting situation that we have going on here is going to be really helpful when we decide that we have a potential that we'd like to bring in as a guest you know and right. i think that that's going to help out quite a bit too and so as long as you're working with your team well enough that they know that these zoom conferences are available and that you know the the opportunity isn't just an opportunity live necessarily but that they have the support you know like Right. I don't know about you personally as a leader for your team, but like I will go to anybody on my team and set up a group conversation between me, my downline yeah. and their, their potential. And I will gladly help them out because, you know, that's just what we do. Right. And like, as much as, you know, it's so easy for a lot of these people that just sign on to turn around and get somebody else to sign on. It's also a, a, a it takes so long to learn this business, right. you know, and learn your way around it that, you know, you don't want to be a deer in the headlights. And not, uh, not everybody is a salesperson for, to begin with, you know, and luckily that's why this jewelry is so, like, easy to sell. It sells itself. We don't have to be salespeople. Right. But, uh, yeah, and, and we learn that as, as leadership goes on and as our time goes on. We all mature into it. Right. So cool. Those sound like awesome, awesome May plans. I Kimberly's like turn. <laughs> yep. Now it's Kimberly's turn. <laughs> um, not sure what to say. <laughs> um, hi, my name is Kim. Uh, <laughs> I work with Charlotte. We are partners to paparazzi. We've been in paparazzi for about a year and a half maybe um our current goals would be to work on lop silver which we are so close to 
Like I already claimed it. It's there's no doubt about it. It's happening. Um, in the month of March or uh, May. May, hopefully, hopefully. Um, my biggest, my biggest thing is, and <coughs> work more efficiently. I need to have an organized space. Right. So that's what I'm working on right now. Um, and this month would be to host hostess parties because we've never done hostess parties like ever. Right. Okay. Those are good goals. Those are good goals. So you've already been working with your team to make sure and see that everybody's working on getting active. Yep. Good deal. Good deal. Perfect. Um, so this month we're going to work a lot on, um, on recruiting. Uh, we're going to work a lot on personal volumes and ranks and achievements. And I want everybody to, of course, be focused on sales, you know, because that's, that's key. Number one, that's where, where our bread and butter is. But at the same time, um, I want to start encouraging more growth, more personal growth, more business growth, more team growth, um, and more leadership growth. I, I want to not only continue to have these Zoom conferences so that we can all talk to each other and learn from each other, but I also want us all to be able to help mold each other into leaders, especially those of us that are in, in, uh, in that leadership role already. You know, and if you're not, then we want to be able to help mold and, you know, and create that leader in you before the time even comes, because you got to be able to follow before you can lead. And so everybody at this point and this stage of the game, no matter where you are in this business is following and they're accepting those roles as leading. And the more and more that we do this and the more and more that we talk to each other, the more we're going to be able to follow and lead each other. So eventually when we go out there as an army together, like we're going to have our presence and we're going to have our ground. Right. And people's going to know that like those people know what they're doing. Look how many superstars are on that team. Look how many people are ranked high. Look how many people are life of the party. Look how many people are, you know, in elite ranks, you know, because it's going to, it's not going to stop with me. Uh, it definitely isn't like it's not stopping our, where it is right now. That's for sure. Because I ain't got mine yet. You know, and when I get mine, I know it ain't stopping there because I know that there's other people on this team um, that deserve that same, that same piece of pie that I want. Right. We all deserve it. And we're all going to get there. But we all it's going to take us all that effort to get there. And um, this month, this month of May, is hopefully for a lot of you guys really going to um, open up the doors for you guys. There's so much to happen in May um, that I'm just e excited for. So it is one hour. This was officially our very first um, leadership lounge. And I'm going to stop the recording at this point so that I can post it for everybody to be able to view and uh, watch as a replay, listen to as a podcast, however they choose to do it. Uh, but they could take this hour to do that. And if you are one of those people and you did not come in to join us in the Zoom conference, I definitely encourage you to come in at any other time. There is now a Zoom schedule. Um, so feel free to check out that schedule of dates. I also have a Zoom chat group open um, that we don't chat in. It's only there just to notify you of when I'm going live and to send you the link to let you know, hey, I'm live. Let's come get together. So come get together with us and let's grow together. Um, have a great day, all of you out there, and see you on the next one.